Welcome back to my Let's Play of Orbiter. Um, we have returned and I'm back on the ground, safe and sound, in the Delta Glider. Um, so it's in safe mode, so let's turn it on. Go down here, we want life support, we want um, ejection seat armed, close the canopy. Turn on the generators and disconnect from the EPU. Um, so it's nighttime here at Cape Canaveral, but I don't think that's too much of a problem. I do want to put this onto surface actually. Orbital speed, excellent. That's beautiful. So nighttime here at Cape Canaveral, and. That is our target, AR01. It is at an ecliptical plane, which is troubling for us because it never passes over Cape Canaveral, which means that it will never properly align with our um, with our orbital plane, no matter how we launch. Oh my word! I always forget to do that. Um, so, so we'll never align, no matter how much or how close we are, where we launch, but this is close about about as close as we're going to get, so I'm going to launch from here. Um, a note, I am launching eastward, so I'm going to enter that in, 903 spec 90. Um, launching eastward, but I'm not actually going to launch right now. Make sure everything's good. Yep. Um, and the reason we launch eastward is because the Earth is spinning, and the Earth spins from the west to the east, which is why the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Um, which means that here at Cape Canaveral, just the spin of the Earth gives us 408 meters per second orbital speed. Which means that you know we're sitting here on the edge of the Earth and we're spinning around at 408 meters per second around the Earth, just because that's what we do. And so that means we've taken 408 meters per second off of the amount of speed that we need to get to attain orbit, um, which is good. Um, the, less, um, the less we need to accelerate, the less fuel we use. So if you're wanting to launch to the west, you would have to overcome this 408 meters per second eastward that we already have and then get another 408 meters per second westward to even get to where you started. So it would require a lot of fuel just to take you back to square one. So we are launching eastward. Um, and so there we go. Flying. So you may notice, or you may have noticed um, a few videos ago when we launched, or when I took you over these autopilots, that I once again used Pro 903 Spec 90, and I did it that same autopilot in the other one, whereas we have all these other autopilots to use, um, specifically 904 Spec whatever, um, which is also set to Earth, and it says hover takeoff, and the reason I'm not using it this time Time, come on, there we go. The reason I'm not using it this time is because of this number right here. Our vessel mass is about 27 and a half tons, and that is full of fuel. We have five, um, five passengers or five people on board, and we have a full set of cargo totaling about um, five tons. So five tons of cargo, a bunch of people, a bunch of fuel, the ship itself, we are very, very heavy. We are so heavy, in fact, that the hover doors cannot, or the hover engines cannot lift us upward. So, um, hover takeoff doesn't work because we're too heavy. So, I'm doing normal airplane takeoff. And you notice that we are heavy, so that the autopilot is, you know, having to um, stop, pull up to keep us from hitting the ground before tur um, continuing the turn. So there we go, 90 degrees, and uh, the turbo engines are going to kick 
kick in here in a moment. I'm going to actually go down here. So you notice that we have full power, but this little Pac-Man thing only goes up, you know, halfway, or three-fourths of the way, and then the turbo pump light came on, and then it went up the rest of the way, or most of the rest of the way, and the turbo pump is what this 330 kilonewton is. So um, 260 is your full thrust, 330 is the, with the turbo pump. The turbo pump uses more fuel, but produces more output for the engines. Um, so there's that, and like I said before, our goal is, in this case, AR01, which you cannot see the name of because it is almost exactly on the other end of the Earth. Um, but we can go there. Um, this is AR01. Oh, that was such a beautiful transition. I have never had it immediately go to a view that's this nice. Um, give you a nice broadside view of the ship. Um, this is the UCGO Aero Freighter. It is an add-on vehicle that is included with the um, UCGO stuffs. And it is for interplanetary transportation of cargo and people. Um, it's very large. I don't know if you can get the size of this. It is, well, I guess here you have windows. Um, more windows. It is a large, large ship. It has 40 cargo clamps and room for 20 passengers. Um, I have filled up the cargo cl clamps as of the yet for the mission. We are going to the moon again, but for a slightly different purpose. And before we go inside, I'm going to switch back to the Delta Glider for... Oh my word. X. There we go. Switch back to the Delta Glider for a reference of something. So here we have the um, cockpit view. You have the three panels you can switch between. And if you want to look around, you, know, you right click and look around, but you know, the uh, cockpit kind of goes with you. And this is a two dimensional co or, you know, two dimensional flight deck or two dimensional display. And that's what it does. I mean, it's really handy, it's really pretty, and it has action buttons, but, you know, it follows you around. Um, the arrow has what's called a 3D cockpit, which means when you look around, you actually get to look around the cockpit. And, you know, it's handy, and the really m well-made ones have um, action areas just like in the 2D cockpit, but you get to look around. So, uh... Yeah, that's the cockpit itself. Um, here on the left, you have the two MFDs. Um, it took me a while to get where the buttons are. The buttons are actually just these themselves. <laughs> we have no true or indicated airspeed. Um, so that's how to run them. Select and menu are the same. Power is the same. Here you have the um, autopilot sessions. So you can hold Alt, which is... I'm probably not going to do that here. Um, bad, bad news. Um, Anti-normal, normal, etc. I'll get to auto land. I know you saw it, and you're like, auto land? That sounds fun. Um, it is fun. Um, the HUD, HUDs, same as above, but in a really tiny way. I'm going to turn that off. And on the right, you have ship information. Um, the Ship systems right here tells you everything you need to know about what's going on in the ship. So I want to start the gravity wheel and open the docking bay. Um, for now, and then over here you can see the gravity wheel starting and it's 0.01 g and that'll go up as the wheel starts spinning. Oh, it also tells you how many um, cargo you have aboard, how many crew you have aboard, how long they can breathe, so these four people can breathe for the next five years and eight months, which you can go pretty much anywhere in the solar system in five years and eight months with this ship. Um, you can see, select your crew, um, send them out an EVA, so right now we have an active air, airlock is airlock 01, which I will not send them EVA because I have had problems with sending them EVA from the um, arrow. Um, so you can select them, turn that off, actually, so radio chatter off, 
Um, the crew cargo, you can select all the cargo you want and release and grapple or use the fuel or oxygen, um, how much it weighs. So the cargo alone weighs more than the Delta Glider does. Actually, over twice as much by now because Delta Glider has been burning through fuel all this time. Um, so what we have here are stuff to start a little research base on the moon. Oh, wrong button. So we have some connect modules, some life modules, um, some lights, some solar arrays, some tables, um, two tanks, a flag kit, an XPDR beacon. I'll get to why I failed at putting it in here um, when we get to that point. I'll probably do it en route to the moon. Oxygen, our food and water supply, and some fuel, just in case. A checklist, which you can edit um, in, on your computer. And the help that the um, Dan Steph has added with all of his, or most of his, add-ons. Help pages are nice. So that's the arrow. Um, we are currently at, you know, 600 kilometers, which is quite high. Oh, there's a gravity wheel starting. They're spinning away. And here is our docking bay um, for a delta glider. It was designed to fit a delta glider. So that gives you a kind of sense of scale on how large our ship is. Um... So there's that. I'm going to actually close... No, I'm not. I'll leave it open. There's no sense in closing it, because we're just going to open it up again later. Um, so, flying along in the um, Delta Glider, just waiting for orbit. Now, at this point, um, we cannot time compress, sadly, with the Ascent Autopilot. So we just kind of have to wait it through and just, yeah, wait it through. Um, so I'm going to, I think, end it here and talk about why the moon is more awesome than I had ever intended. And I'm going to do that in the next video. So see you then.